In this video, I'm going to share with you an incredibly powerful Neville Goddard exercise that allows you to manifest millions of dollars. What makes this technique the best is that it works in one day. I know it looks weird, but let me explain it more. So if you practice this exercise while not having any negative thoughts and thinking that this technique really works, then you can be a millionaire in one day. So stick around this video till the end to understand everything fully so that you practice the exercise the way it should be practiced. And if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to it and press the bell icon for more of the latest videos. Let's now begin. Well, before I share with you the technique that can help you become a millionaire in a single day, I want to explain to you what sort of feelings and thoughts you should have before you practice this technique because it is based on Neville Goddard's Law of Assumption. So first you will have to comply with the conditions of the Law of Assumption and then this technique will work. But if you deviate from the conditions of the Law of Assumption, the technique will not work and you will fail to manifest your desire. So first we need to know the conditions we must comply with before we practice this technique. As we all know, Neville Goddard suggests feeling as if the desire is fulfilled. So first you have to feel that your desire has been manifested. If you don't feel like your desire has been manifested, it means you have some doubts. When you have any doubts, you can't manifest anything using the Law of Assumption and Neville Goddard's teachings. Secondly, you have to live at the end of your desire. In other words, you have to live in the state of having your desire. It means don't just feel that you have manifested your desire. Live your desire. Your attitude, your lifestyle, your thoughts, and your daily life activities must express and reflect that you have manifested your desire. Let's say you want to manifest one million dollars. So don't just assume, think, or feel that you have manifested your desire, but have an attitude of abundance. Act like a millionaire. Behave like a millionaire. That's how you live in the state of having your wish fulfilled. If you can't get into that state, your manifestation will not come. Living in the state of having your desire fulfilled makes you feel that your desire has been fulfilled. Living in that environment gives rise to emotions and feelings in you, and it makes you excited. When you feel excited about your desire, it shows that you believe that you are capable of doing that. But if you feel hopeless when you think about your desire, then it means that you aren't sure whether you will manifest it. So that's the second thing that you are required to fulfill. Now the third condition that you have to comply with is that you have to let go of your desire. It means that when you start practicing this technique, you shouldn't express any signs of neediness. You shouldn't think about manifesting your desire. Needing what you want keeps you from manifesting your desire. When you are feeling and believing that you have manifested your desire, you shouldn't express any sign of neediness. You see, when you do anything that implies that you haven't manifested your desire, then you can't have the feeling of having your desire. According to Neville Goddard, there are basically two states. These are called the states of consciousness. One state is about needing what you want, and the other state is about having or having the feeling of having your desire. These are two completely distinct states. You can't manifest your desire while still needing what you want. In order to manifest your desire, you will need to come out of the state of needing what you want and enter the state of having what you want to have. What I'm saying is that you should just stop chasing your desire. It is coming into your life and you will receive it soon. Just be prepared to handle what you've got to handle. So these are the conditions that you must fulfill before you practice this technique. Let's talk about the technique that you will have to use in order to manifest $1 million or the amount of money you want to manifest in your life. Now let me share the technique with you. It consists of only four steps. Step 1. Compile a list of things that you will do after manifesting your desire. This is the first step, and here you write down the things that you will do after getting the money that guy wants. Just take a pencil and a piece of paper or some diary. Write down all the things that you will do after getting the money that you desire. This step allows you to know your desires better and get clear on different aspects of them. Everybody needs money for different purposes. Some want to feed their families. Some want to buy a new house. Some want to pay their bills. And of course, some want to start a new business. Why do you want to have $1 million? What are the things that you want to buy with $1 million? Perhaps you wanted to buy a new car that you desired but because of your financial situation, you couldn't. Perhaps you want to go abroad and start some business in another country. So I want you to write down everything that you want to do with money. Write it down on the paper. I want you to list the top 10 or top five things that you want to do 
or want to buy with the money you want to manifest. Prepare a list of 10 things that you want to manifest. We all have a number of desires, but most of us aren't clear on what we want or why we want it. When we don't know clearly what we want, we fail to achieve it. Neville Goddard suggests knowing your higher self. Your higher self is the version of you that you want to be. So knowing what you desire helps you know your higher self. Knowing your higher self or knowing who you want to be makes you excited and feel your desire. But if you aren't clear on the things you want to do or you don't know why you want something, you will stay confused and it will create negative thoughts and emotions in your mind, ultimately causing you to fail. Step number two, write a positive affirmation for each of your desires. Now this step involves writing affirmations. When you have a list of 10 or five desires, you have to write positive affirmations for them. In front of each of your desires, write a positive affirmation that expresses your gratitude. For example, if you have written a desire, I want to buy a car, write next to it a positive affirmation. I'm thankful for the car I have bought. If you have written, I want to buy a new house for my family, write next to it, I'm very grateful for the house I've bought. Like this, write 10 or 5 affirmations, depending on the number of desires you have. Make sure you write your desire and affirmation for it on the same line. And the next line will have another desire and another affirmation. So you have to do this for each of your desires. Step number three, take a glance at your desires and affirmations each day. This is an important step. Don't throw away the piece of paper on which you write your affirmations and your desires. Instead, take a look at it each day so that it can remind you of what you have to manifest. Doing so has a number of benefits. For example, it keeps you focused and motivated. When you are reminded of your desire each day, it inspires you to take action and do something for what you want to manifest. When you know your desires and are reminded of them each day, you think more about them. It insists that you devise a plan and take some steps towards manifesting your desire. The best time to take a look at your desires and affirmations is when you wake up in the morning. What we see or do in the morning affects our whole day. So I recommend that you see the list of your affirmations and your desires in the morning. You can write your desire on a piece of paper and carry it with you everywhere. Looking at the list and reading in the morning is a must. It is best if you read the affirmations a few times in the morning. Affirmations do wonders when they are repeatedly spoken. They help you overcome your limiting thoughts. Negative thoughts or doubts are the biggest reason why people don't manifest their desires and affirmations serve the purpose of killing those negative thoughts. If there are any negative thoughts residing in your mind, you will not feel excited about manifesting your desire. You will feel hopeless and will not take any steps to manifest your desires. So that's why I'm suggesting you repeat the affirmations to yourself in addition to manifesting them. To enhance the effectiveness of the process and make it manifest faster, you can even write those affirmations frequently. Try to read, see, and write your desires and affirmations often. Step number four, visualize your desires right before you go to bed. This is the last step, which involves visualizing your desire. As we have discussed, the key thing that you want to manifest in your life is money. But the reason you want to manifest money is that you have many other desires, and to manifest those desires, you want to manifest money. Simply put, money is the solution to every problem because it helps you manifest all of your desires. So I want you to visualize your desire each day right before you go to sleep. Visualizing before sleeping at night is considered the most effective way of visualizing. Even Neville Goddard himself suggested visualizing the desert at night. In fact, our mind is always reasoning, and when it is fully active, it doesn't accept the affirmations or visualizations as truth unless some evidence is available in 3D. At night, you are tired and your mind isn't fully active. If you sit, it will easily accept what you want it to accept, and the information will be passed to your subconscious mind, where it will harden into facts. Remember that when you visualize your desire, feel that it is happening in real time and that it is a real event. Visualizing your desire without emotions and feelings will not work because, when you really believe something to be true, it triggers some emotions in you. The main purpose of visualizing, the desire is to show your mind what it is that you want to manifest, and when you put feelings and emotions into it, your mind picks it up quickly and starts working on it. So you must have the feelings and emotions that you will have after manifesting your desire in reality. Repeat this exercise each day with all the emotions and feelings, and see how things change in your real life.
you will manifest the desired amount of money, even if it is millions of dollars. Practice this technique and fulfill all the conditions success awaits you. I hope I was able to deliver a good analysis of this idea by Neville Goddard. And of course, this doesn't mean we agree with every single thing he said or believed in, because in the end, everyone will form his or her own opinion, and that is why we are analyzing and discussing his ideas and methods to fully understand his approach and general ideas, as he was a great teacher and inspired millions of people around the world. If you want to share your opinion, comment down below this video. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to it and press the bell icon for more interesting, informative, and helpful videos on manifestation. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.